All right, guys, welcome back to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is let's drive down to the lower area there where all the buckets are and see if we can pick up the rest of those. That way we have everything you know, picked up from down there and the rest of our stuff is just up here. And then we will, uh, you know, once once we have a completely full load, we will make our first trip to Nighthawk. Um, so hopefully I can get all these buckets in here. We are going to find out here in a moment. So, yeah. I'm excited to uh, go check Nighthawk out. I've never been there. It's pretty crazy, man. We... We spent $2.4 million on a piece of property we've never even seen. What's the matter with us? <laughs> but we have it on good authority that uh, that is the place to be. All right, that squeezed right on down in there. Um, we have a little bit of room over on this side, too, I think. I think it's, uh, it's a f fair drive out there, too, so... Oh, and speaking of that, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys in the last episode or not, but I am planning on utilizing fast travel. Um, I don't know that I'm going to fully rely on it because it's sort of kind of immersion breaking, but it's also just a huge time saver, you know, in real life. Uh, so, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm not going to purchase a fast travel point to old Arnold because once we're we're done here we're done here we're not we won't, there won't be really any reason for us to come back uh, but I believe the factory is still the only place we can drop off magnetite um so we you know but it might make the most sense for us to do a fast travel point into town because you know the factory's not very far away from town and uh yeah I, I don't I'm not seeing any more buckets, so I think we got all of them. So we might just do, you know, because it costs $20,000 to buy one of those things. And, uh, you know, so I don't, uh, there, it makes no sense whatsoever to buy one on Old Arnold when we're not coming back here. After we're done with the move, of course. We do have to come back a few times to get the rest of our stuff, but that's just temporary. Uh, all right, well, let's, uh, oh, hold on. We've got... Uh, a deep rocker hose that's not behaving. All right, is everybody else in? <laughs> it, I wonder if we are... Here, quit moving. Okay. I wonder if we're at our limit. And it. See, that belt is acting up a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Let's start driving and see. Yeah, wait, did something drop out or not? I can't really tell. Oh, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to sleep. Uh, we're going to sleep till morning or till dawn before we go because I do not, I don't want to do this in the dark. And I'm sure you guys don't want to watch it in the dark. Spend too much time in the dark in this game. Um... Yeah, see that fella. I think we're at our limit. All right, here's what we're gonna do then. Let's let's pull one bucket out. I don't here. Let me put this back in so I don't forget. See now something else popped out. Yep, that does not want to go in there. Is there any way we could? Force it to go in there. Nope. Okay. I think we're at our limit. And I certainly don't want to lose anything, you know, halfway between here and there. So let's not push it. Let's not push our luck here. Okay. So, yeah, what we'll do is we will let's sleep till dawn uh, so we can bring the daylight back. And then we'll take our trip over there. We still have six more days till permafrost. So there we go. Okay. Now, um, oh. Worker salary. We're still paying those yahoos? They're not doing anything. <laughs> what the heck, man? All right. Well, hopefully they're still gaining experience at least. They better be if we're paying them. 
All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and head into town. We're going to purchase a fast travel point in town. And then head on over to... Uh, well, I guess one of our mechanics is working on something. Uh, and then we'll head on over to Nighthawk. It'll slowly start to get lighter. As we go, we need to remember to get our cables and... Oh, tree. Our cables and the other traits that are over there too at some point but I think everything else is behaving I don't see anything else falling off here and then we have another load of equipment there too we've got the rock uh, the wave table in the magnetite separator and a couple of uh, hog pan thingies so I almost wonder if it would be cheaper to sell the hog pans and then just rebuy them and have them delivered they're not that expensive yeah you know what let's do uh, let's save those for last and if we can't get them on and it means we'd have to make another trip just for those then we will do that so I thought about doing the fast travel to the factory but you know we're only going to be coming here on occasion whereas we'll probably have to be coming to town more frequently for you know new parts that sort of thing fuel whatever um, so it makes more sense to have the fast travel point in town and then we can just run out here when we have magnetite to drop off. I believe when you fast travel, your pickup comes with you. I've never actually used it yet in this game, but that would make sense because it would have, well, yeah, it would have to, because why would you fast travel if you couldn't take stuff with you or bring stuff back? There'd be no point to it or very little point anyway. Can you hitch up another trailer to the back of the first one? It just occurred to me. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. That's too bad. And you can have like a little train of trailer uh, of trailers. I, I almost said chain of trailers. <laughs> Mouth work. Okay. All right, so it makes most sense to use a fast travel point that's close. Okay, this actually should work right here because it's near the machine shop and it's also near the part shop right there. And the bank is just right over there. So yeah, this makes perfect sense. This might be the only place to do it anyway. If you're reading this, you must be rich. Get your dig on and be rich like me. Work hard to achieve your dreams. Intelligence means nothing if you're being rude about it. Yeah, I agree with that. We out here just digging away hard on the... Hard on the what? The the bugs? I don't know what that means. Sorry, I'm too old to understand what that means. Uh, Lillistrum is closer than you think. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Stay true and find lots and lots of gold. Howdy, peeps. Keep on keeping it real. The risk of gold mining. Rex... Rexley was here? Danny, Helen, Logan, Hazel. All right. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Donate to your local fire department. Guns up. Wreck'em tech. S Sky, love you, mom and dad. Quitters never win and winners never quit. Uh, this is the future site of Dragon's Den. I've got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. Catfish John 1979 was here. In dirt we trust. <laughs> uh, Asriel was ear. YouTube.com Asriel Sutcliffe. Interesting. That's cool. I wonder if those are real players who maybe won leaderboard contest and where? Where? Where does liest ist doof? Or what? Okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of neat, though. Maybe that's what that is. Oh, and there's more stuff here. I've never noticed this before. I'm always just driving by here. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. Okay. Um, note to self, bears do not enjoy cuddling. Okay, that's probably good advice. In loving memory of Charles J. Smith and George D. Smith, thanks for all you have done for this family and company. Always follow your heart. Make your dreams 
a reality because we only have this one life, so live it to the fullest. Missing dog, white bull terrier, last seen on the 4th of May, 27th, near Aurora Lake. Response to, response to, junior hide, reward, um, 1,000 C. What is C? I should know what C is, but it's escaping me. It's not a, it's not euro, it's not pound, crone maybe? I don't know. Uh, Junior's a very good boy who will come to you if you call him, please. If you've seen him, contact immediately. We're very worried about our baby, okay? And let's see. Alaskan hero. This man is known as Alpha Bear. If you ever have problems with bears eating your water hoses, call him. With bear hands, he's able to talk reasonably with bears, telling them to stop attacking people. Since that won't resolve any of their problems, he's known for his warm hugs, which are solutions for everything. All righty then. <laughs> I like stuff like this in games. It's fun. Just fun stuff. All right. Anyway, let's get back to work here. Uh, we uh, want to buy this fast travel point. Yep. See, so 20,000 bucks. But there we go. Now we can fast travel back to this point. And this is a really good central point uh, to do that with. Fantastic. Now, of course, we're going to also purchase the fast travel point at Nighthawk. Um, so now, how do we get to Nighthawk? <laughs> that is the question. Uh, so let's take a look at our map. Nighthawk is way up here in the northwest, and it looks like our stuff is already up there. Okay, so we need to four-finger sawmill. Oh, that's hilarious, four-finger finger sawmill. Okay, so it looks like if we go out of town, this is the hotel, and then a little further, and then we just turn right, and we can go across this bridge. The other way would be to go way over this way, but that's, that's, that's really how you would go to Pine Valley. And uh, River Towns down in the south, or yeah, the southwest. Okay, so basically we go out of town this way by the gas station and around here. Okay, let's do it. Um, so let's see, the gas station is this way. I always seem to get just a little bit disoriented. Oh, there's more stuff on the walls. Okay, well, we'll look at that later. Maybe. If I think about it. Uh, I always get a little bit disoriented as to which direction to go in, in this town for some reason. In the Haynes. You should disable the differential lock. No, I don't think I will. There's snow and ice on the road. We're going to keep the four-wheel drive in place. Man, I haven't been out here since we first started the game. Come on, pickup truck. You can do it. I hope that doesn't screw up. Well, the only thing on the pickup truck that can go bad are the tires, and I have a spare tire. But that doesn't make sense. You should have to keep the differential on when there's snow and ice on the road. Contrary to what some people tell you, it does help. It doesn't help when it comes to driving too fast and braking, but it does help in terms of better traction. All right, so that's where we're going to spend the winter when we're all done with these shenanigans. But we want to go further up the road here. You know, we should start keeping our eyes peeled for for more stories, too, because we're getting into new territory. However, it might be kind of hard to find those in the snow. Shut up. All right, I think this is where we want to turn here. That's the, the road dead ends there, so it has to be, yeah. Does that say Nighthawk? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. And we get to go over a cool bridge here. Over the Alaskan River, which is not frozen yet, but I'm sure it will be when the permafrost stage comes. Man, I wish it was a little lighter out. You know what we could do? We could speed up the time. I just have to remember to slow it down when it gets, um, you know, when it gets uh, a little bit lighter out. And not let it go all the way to into the evening like we did last time. Okay, so hopefully I'll remember that. I'd ask you guys to remind me, but well, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's head on up this way. Apparently we're going to go by the Four Finger Sawmill. I'll bet you there's some story, story papers over there. Four Fingers Sawmill. Uh... Yep, 
the thumb got cut off. <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh, yep, there is a story mode here. Okay. Um, yeah, those are going to be a bugger to find in the snow, aren't they? It, okay, so it just went away. It needs to be flashing quickly. Okay, so now it's flashing quickly. I can't I can't see it, man. Not in the snow. It's somewhere around in here. But see how it's flashing really fast now? Hmm. Okay, well, we might have to look for those at a lit, you know, when in the spring or summertime when there's no snow on the ground. That's just that's too hard for me to see. I might have been stepping right on top of it too. Okay, so Nighthawk is this way. It's starting to get a little bit lighter out. 6.29 a.m. Yeah, we'll go check out the sawmill walking around there at, at some point and see if we can find some more story mode stuff. Got some lumber going on over there and a, a logging truck and stuff. That's cool. Oh, wow, look at this. You definitely would not be driving your heavy machinery out here. I don't think the excavator anyways would clear that. In fact, I'm positive it wouldn't. The dump truck might and the front loader. Look at this. There's a an outhouse here. How funny. I don't see a story mode thing flashing, though. Oh, I can't get over the fence. I got to go, man. <laughs> That's really neat, though. I like it. I like it. I can't go any further that direction. All right, cool. Is that supposed to be like an oil pipeline? Like, you know, Alaskan pipeline kind of idea? I don't know. Hotel Haynes. Nighthawk Parcel. Why do they have such narrow entrances into these places, man? What is up with that? That's another reason why you wouldn't really be able to drive your heavy machinery out here. Look at this place, you guys. This is awesome. This uh, parcel is quite a bit larger than old Arnold, too, so I'm going to have a job on my hands for the drilling. All right, let's look around a bit. Let's see where the setup area is. I'm not sure where it's at. Let's go up here. It looks like there's stuff up here. No, this is just... I don't know. Maybe that's where you... The, the gold panning area... Nice uh, reversing job there, OG. All right, we're on the dirt, man. We are on the dirt. Okay, I see the setup area. And yeah, okay, so everything's actually on. Here, let me look at the map for a second. Oh, okay, so you can you okay you can go this way to actually drive over to here. You don't have to go across the dirt. Because I was thinking to myself, well, what happens when we have this all dug out? How do we get over there? We'd have to build our own road, but we don't. Okay, I just missed that. So when we get here, go through the little narrow spot. We just. Uh, hang a righty tidy and then we can get over there. I got you. Okay. Here is our wash plant area. It's a little bit different setup than the one on old Arnold's. Wait, why do I keep forget to put my brakes on? Let's take a quick look at this. All right. So, so we put the two, um, 
uh, duplex jigs, sloops, uh, or uh, sluices rather there. We, we're going to put the gravel pumps here. Looks like there's is it, there's only one spot for a hog pen, huh? Unless it... No, it comes out on this side too. Okay. And then there's a little ladder thingy up here. And this is where the trommel's going to go. Or no, this is where the trommel will go. And then this is where the main wash plant goes here. All right. I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Where's the shed at? The big shed. Uh, oh, I think it's what over that way. Okay, well, let's get on over there then. This dirt is kind of hilly. It will make for some adventuresome digging. Get in there and stay in there. Um, all right, let's go up this way. Oh, that must be the hog pan area there. Or, I'm sorry, the not the hog pan, but the... Well, yeah, hog pan area. Gold pan area, whatever. There's our stuff. Man, why does the shed have to be 100 miles away? <laughs> it's, like, way over there. Okay. Um, cool, man. All right, so this is our selling point. Where's our fast travel point? Let's do that first so I don't forget it. That, there it is right there. Okay. You've successfully unlocked fast travel. Now you have to find him. Oh. Oh, so we only have to pay for that once? I thought we had to pay 20 grand per travel point. Oh, that's great. Well, shoot. If that's the case, then we might as well, we might as well get them all over the place. I, I didn't know that. I thought we had to pay for each one. Oh, this could be the gold pan area. Why is this already dug? I've never been here. Yeah, the crick's over that way. Okay. I guess it just comes partially dug. Maybe the previous owner started digging and then said, you know what? This takes too darn long. I am not doing this anymore. All right, so this is the road back out. Okay, so that's the way we need to come next time we're here. Which makes sense for the fast travel to be right there. Oh, now we can go. All right, excuse me for a minute, you guys. Oh, man, what a relief. I feel 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. All right, so here's the order of business, guys. We've got to get the big equipment inside the shed. That's what we got to do. And then we have to figure out how to get the little equipment inside after we get the big equipment inside. Um, so anything I have to tow in there, like this, for example, in our fuel tank. You know, we should probably actually... We're going we're gonna to need to invest in the big fuel tank, but I'm not going to do that till spring. There's no point in doing that right now because then we have to store it. Um, we should keep the other small fuel tank out for now so that I can uh, fill it up. We'll take it back to town with us. So let's disconnect the trailer. Um, anything that is not going to get damaged during the winter, it would probably make sense for us to put that over by the... Um, uh, by the dig site, right? By, by the wash plant. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a wash plant. So why don't we... Here, actually, let's do this. Let's hook this back up for a second. 
I'm just trying to figure out the best, the next best move here. <laughs> There's like, I got 110 things to do, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's the, what's the next step, you know? Uh, it's fun, though. I'm really enjoying this. This is great. Okay, we can put, whoops, uh, we can put this back pretty much where it was before. Um, let's put this stuff on top, though, just because, well, I can't really get it up there. It's too high. We may not actually use this anyway, but we have it in case we do need it. We were putting these on top. Try and line it up so it's nice and straight there. All righty. Now we'll grab these. We don't want these out in, in the winter. Cold, so I guess... Why don't we line them up right up against the wall here? There we go. Okay, we'll keep those there. Um, this kind of thing that we probably aren't necessarily going to use at all or may not use... Let's just go ahead and put um, those here. Okay, why am I not able to pivot this? It's because I'm crouched? Oh, yeah, it's because I'm crouched. Huh. Okay. But we'll just kind of stuff that back in the corner there. Same thing here. We may not... Uh, actually, I think I have another water line. Let's do that one first, so... Yeah, they're next to each other. Just so things can be nice and neat for us. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but reasonably straight. Okay, so turn you this way. Ish. There we go. All right, let's grab uh, the water uh, thingy. And I guess we can put that up here for now. We will be using this and probably a couple of those. Uh, the water or the oil filter. I had that up on the shelf here. Just stick it right here. You know what? I'm trying to remember what this is for. I wish it told you. Well, actually, I think it does. Um, if we go into... How do we get into to the dig tube? I can't remember. Right here. Okay. And we go to... I haven't looked in this menu in a long time. We want to find repairing or parts or whatever. Spare, spare parts. Okay. And let's look for oil filter. Oh no, that's that's a fuel filter, not an oil filter. And that goes that goes with um our I think that goes with our generator. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, I mean our our water pump. Uh no, fuel filter repair. Oh, wait. No, it goes on the excavator. That's right. Okay. I I had to replace this once. I've only replaced it one time in all the time I've used the excavator. Okay, so we definitely need that. <laughs> I just couldn't remember because it's been such a long time. Uh, the D-Rocker Jet, uh, we we would keep this in here anyway, even though it's probably not prone to damage from the winter time. And what else? Well, we want to grab the, the fan belt. That can stay in here. Can we level it out? Uh -uh. It only lets me turn it this way. Okay, well, then we're just going to have to... Can we get it to lay down if we do that? Nope, we're going to keep it there. <laughs> That's all I can do, man. That's all I can do. All right, what else do we have in here? The buckets, um, the electrical cords, the hoses. Uh, those don't get damaged. Um, I know they could in real life, but they don't in the game, so I'm not going to 
worry about those. Bringing those in here. Because keep in mind, everything we put in here, we're going to have to turn right around. Well, not everything, but a lot of this stuff, we're going to have to turn right around and pull it back out in the spring and get set up. So it's just going to save us time if we keep anything that can stay out there, out there. All right, we've got a couple of the little water filters here, if I can get to them. If I open this, is everything going to fly out? Okay, no. I think we had those. Here, we can just put these right here. Or actually, we had them down here now that I think about it. And there should be another one in here. Oh, the teeth. Yeah, we want the teeth in here, too. Just because I don't want those outside laying on the ground someplace where we can't see them. There should be another water filter in here somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I, I know it's it could be a little tedious, but the thing is, is it's something different to do in this game besides just dig and wash, you know what I mean? So from that standpoint, I, I kind of like it. Yeah. We won't be doing this very often, so let's savor the moment. Hopefully everybody's good with that. This is for the Nuggetator. Uh, no, not the Nuggetator, for the, whatchamacallit, Magnetite Separator, I think. Something like that. I like how those teeth just stay. Oh, that one didn't stay on end. There must be magnetic teeth to draw the magnetite. All right, and we should have one more tooth in here somewhere. There it is, right? Uh, nope, not that. Right there. Okay, so yeah, like I said, um, hoses, water hoses, and electrical lines, we're going to just keep out by the wash plant. We'll stack them up nice and neat, or, or neat-ish, because um, can't close sideboard. All right, get out of the way. And besides, that's not a sideboard, that's a tailgate, FYI. At least that's what we call it in the U.S. <laughs> um yeah, we're just going to store them out there because uh, they they won't, you know, they don't get damaged in the game. If if they did, I obviously would store them in here, but they don't, so. Okay, let's head on back out. And we're going to drop off. this uh this load over by the wash plant we're going to take the fuel tank back into town and fill it up it's 9 42 a.m let's let the time run uh quickly just a little bit longer all right let me think about this where's it going to make sense to put this stuff i don't want it in the way where we have to load equipment um it might make sense to stack it over here. Oh, we got to get that water tower fixed too. We have the money to do that. Look at that little palm there. That's cool. Uh, we might as well just do this right now. I don't see any reason. Oh, it's 150,000 yelts. Okay. Well, thank goodness we were able to get all that money back from selling our. You know, some of that, the planters and the old Arnold Trommel. Okay, so we got the water taken care of. And knowing that that's where the water's going to be, um, maybe we'll put the, well, I don't think anything needs to go, well, no, actually, okay, let me think about this. This is a nice flat area. I'll bet you this is for the generator. That's probably where we want to put the generator and the fuel tank. So we don't want to stack a bunch of crap on the way there either. 
Alrighty. So. No, we don't want anything going down there. We have to be able to drive the... Uh, we put the conveyor up here. We're going to put the wash plant here. We could probably stack... S mm. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to want to do the trommel and the gravel pumps from down below here. So, yeah, I think we can stack stuff right, right in this area. We should be fine. Because, you know, I don't want to have to move it twice, right? I'm going to put it down, and then it stays there until we hook it up. That's the idea. I would hook up, like, the hog pan stuff, except for uh, we need to get in there with the excavator to put the, the big equipment in place. So we'll just leave it stacked over here for now. Okay, so let's just kind of neatly put everything on this little ramp here. We wouldn't use that anyway. That's if you're directly loading with the front loader, which we won't be doing. So it's a nice little staging area for us. All right, let's put water lines in this corner here. And get them to stack. I, oh, yeah, there we go. It right, doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, just close. Uh, we'll put electrical lines. The, the bigger wires can go here. You know, we can actually move these back further. Get them back there further, man, so they're out of the way. That's good. We'll put the small extension cords can go here. And then we just have a bunch of buckets. Uh, where do we want to put those? We should probably put these somewhere down around in here because this is where we're going to need to use them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's toss all the buckets down in that little pit for now. That's a good spot for them. Is everything else that's in here just buckets except for the tire and the jack, which we keep in here all the time? Uh, well, oh, and I have a couple of fuel cans too, so I think so. I think we're good. All right. That is an ideal place to put a stack of buckets. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. We might uh, want to think about even purchasing more buckets too. I've pretty much done my clean outs when all, when all the attached buckets are full, but I know a lot of, uh, a lot of guys will have multiple sets of buckets and fill them all up before they do the clean out. Uh, however, for that to be really efficient, we do need workers to change them out. And we only, well, actually, I don't think we have any workers yet that will do that. Okay, I'm thinking it's nice and um, bright now. So let's, I should, no, I don't want to go to the main menu. Uh, let's set the time back to 1x so we have lots of daylight to do all this stuff in. And let's do a quick save too. I haven't done that in a bit. All right, I think we're good to go here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up. Uh, we're going to take our gas tank into town and fill it. 
Uh, we don't need the water pump. So that we could store. I'm not even sure if I'm going to even use it at all, but let's hang on to it for now, just in case we do uh, end up needing it for something. All right, so let's disconnect you. Oops. There we go, that's close enough. All right, what we'll do is we'll drive back to town just to kind of enjoy the scenery, but then we'll fast travel back here with our full tank of gas. And then, you know, I wanna put some of this medium sized machinery like the water pump and the water tank in first and kind of, you know, try and tuck them in the corners or whatever. Uh, in fact, we could maybe back those two things right into here, perhaps. Um, but, you know, they need to be kind of out of the way. Maybe we could put them along this wall, actually. Because we have to fit three huge machines in here. And once those machines are in here, we're not going to have room to maneuver to put the other stuff in. So that's what I'm thinking. What? Okay, let's just have a nice little wintry drive back into town here. So we... Did we go that direction when we first got here? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that's another inroad. That's actually kind of nice that there's multiple uh, points of access into the claim, though. I think we went down that way, didn't we? Or maybe that way. Yeah. Yeah, this is the exit here. Very narrow. Kind of doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of doesn't really make sense to me why they deliberately made all these entrances narrow. I mean, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to drive an excavator all the way out here, but if I wanted to, well, it wouldn't work with that that pipeline there, but why stop me? You know? I don't know. Seems weird. Any hoozle. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look at this uh sawmill. Pine Valley Night Oh, is that a okay, let's look at the map. I don't want to take a wrong turn here. Oh, okay, so that goes all the way over to Pine Valley and Fort Ripley and Bear Paw Lake and wa Zaf Zafira Waterfall. Neat. You know, we, we'll take an episode at some point, guys, and we'll just explore the rest of the map just to see it. You know, we're, we don't want to do that right now because we got work to do, but at some point, uh, I would like to do that. So just uh, we'll plan on doing that and, you know, look for more story papers and stuff like that, too. Let's put our lights on. So we'll fill this up, you know, so we have it, but we are going to, like I said, we're going to purchase the large uh, fuel tank too. It's like enormous. It's like the size of a semi-trailer, that fuel tank. And then we have to pay for a fuel truck to come out to the property to fill it up. All right. This drive isn't that bad. It's uh, it's definitely you know longer than old Arnold, the distance to old Arnold, but it's it's not terrible. From what I've seen watching other people, uh, Rivertown is 
I think the hardest one to get into. It's not as far away, but it's it just gets really janky trying to get in there with the way the roads are laid out and stuff. This road looks slippery, man. Okay, let's pull on into the fuel depot here. Are you done sliding? Okay. Let's uh let's fuel up our pickup truck. It's too far. Really? What if I got right there? All right. Well, then let's fill up the tank first. $2,027. I wonder if fuel is um, less expensive in the winter, too. All right, we're going to have to back this up just a little bit. Let's see if that's enough. Does definitely does kind of seem slippery out. There we go. Okay, so now we want to go to the fast travel point. Which is going to be right over here by the machine shop. And I guess we just pull onto the pad here. And do we... We probably activate it, <coughs> excuse me, from the map, I'll bet you. Uh, like I said, I've never done this before, so... Uh, is that, this must be it right here, right? Yeah, travel. Look at that. Just have to wait for it to load. All right, nifty. Very cool. All right, you guys. Well, I believe we are out of time for this episode. So in the next episode, we will just continue the move process. Um, what we're going to do is get, uh, we're going to go back to old Arnold. Uh, well, no, the first thing we'll do is we'll move the medium sized equipment into here. And I'm probably just going to kind of scooch it up against the wall on this side. I'm thinking, uh, because I was going to put them in here, but the, these are kind of nice little cubby holes. We could back up the, after we get all the little stuff in, right? We could back up the dump truck into this one and the front loader into this one. Um, and then, you know, just have, put the excavator somewhere out, out here. And, um, and, and then we'll go back to old Arnold and we'll get another load. And then however many more loads it's going to take for us to get it out here. But, you know, now that I know that I can activate other fast travel points without having to pay for it, we might as well activate the old Arnold one. And then we can just fast travel everything else out here, uh, just to get it done quickly. So I don't know if we'll be able to get that finished in the in the final uh, or in one more episode or two more. It just depends upon how long it takes. But um, we will get it done and have fun doing it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.